Right, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial with the DJI Pocket 3. It's going to be a hyperlapse tutorial. As you can see, it's attached to my chest harness. You can see with the Pocket 3, it's a different mounting bracket. This one basically just clips in there, and then the Pocket 3 will just slide into the housing. And as you can see when you're walking, it keeps it rather stable. But any bumps there will be ironed out by the gimbal anyway. So just before I start the hyperlapse tutorial with the Pocket 3, I'll just go through the five basic rates which there is. It starts off at times 2, times 5, times 10, times 15 and times 30. So what I'm going to do is find some straight line tracks to walk on because if there's any twists and turns in there, the hyperlapse footage is going to look rather messy. Do keep in mind with the Pocket 3 when you're in hyperlapse mode, no matter which resolution you're in, it's going to crop in slightly on that footage. So now let's switch over to the Pocket 3 and go on the first rate which is times 2 and we'll see what that's like. Here we go. So that's the first hyperlapse completed on the Pocket 3 on the rate of times 2 and I can only imagine it's like you've strapped the camera to a little bunny and it's hopping all the way on the times 2 rate. And now we're going to switch over to the times 5 rate and see how that one fares. So that's times 5 rate completed now on the Pocket 3. And again, I can imagine that the bunny's got the camera strapped to his head, but this time he's had a can of Red Bull and he's jumping a little bit faster. So now we're going to switch over to the times 10 rate and let's see how that one goes. So as you'll see from the footage there on the times 10 rate, that rabbit's had a lot of Red Bulls now as it really is jumping. But it's a lot more usable than the times 2 and the times 5 rate. And when you're using the hyperlapse modes with the Pocket 3, the higher the rate you go, the more stable it becomes. So the next one's times 15, so let's have a look at that one. So that's the times 15 rate complete. And as you'll see, it's a lot more usable than the times 2, the times 5 or the times 10. So at times 15, it does look a lot more usable, but it's a lot more faster than the previous rates. So if you've got any twists and turns in the path which you're walking, it's going to look kind of messy. So now we're going to switch over to the final rate, which is times 30. Now this one, as I've just explained, the higher the rate you go, the faster it is. Times 30 is going to be super fast. It's almost going to be like a racing drone flying in a straight line. That's if you keep to a straight line whilst you're walking. So now let's switch over to the times 30 rate and let's just see how that one fares. So that's the hyperlapse tutorial complete now on the Pocket 3. We've just gone through the rates of times 2, 5, 10, 15 and 30. And as I've explained, the higher the rate, the faster the hyperlapse. So just to recap again, make sure you're walking in a straight line, the higher the rate. So when you're using the chest harness with the Pocket 3, it's a different mount to the Action 4, which I'll show you straight after this one. So with the Pocket 3 mount, it just clips on there, and then the Pocket 3 just slides straight in. That's nice and secure, as you can see. It fits on there quite nicely. And now I'll switch over to the Action 4 mount, just so you can see the difference. So as you can see the mounting bracket on the Action 4 is slightly different. You'll just push underneath, twist and that'll pop off. And then to attach it back to the chest harness, you'll just snap it on there, twist and it's fully locked on. So as you'll see from the clarity, I've switched over to the Pocket 3 as I've finished doing the hyperlapse on it now. I prefer filming with the Pocket 3 as the resolution and the clarity is a lot better than the Action 4. So that brings me to the end of the video. I'm hoping this Pocket 3 hyperlapse tutorial really comes in handy for you and you'll be able to see which rate suits you best. So just to recap, times 2 and times 5 rate, I won't really use them as it's like a little rabbit strapped a camera to its head and it's doing that all the way as you'll see from the footage. Times 10 and times 15. They're both usable, but times 10, again, that rabbit's had a few Red Bulls. It's just going to be a little bit faster. 
And then when you get to a rate of times 15, it becomes more usable, especially if the path you're walking on is straight. And then the fifth and final one on the hyperlapse mode there is the times 30 rate. That's usable, but just be careful not to get any twists and turns in the path which you're walking on. So for now, be sure to stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and bye for now.